like, yeah, you're not a square, dude. You're on tons of drugs. You're not I'm only on weed now. That's I quit drinking and I quit six. Where'd you quit drink? Uh, the first. But after like kind of being off all of December. How are you feeling? I feel great. I mean, I'm going to drink tomorrow because I'm doing We Might Be Drunk. Or You Might Be Drunk. Yeah. But also like I'm not drinking otherwise, you know? That's... I don't have a problem with it. What I have a problem with is the compulsion to have... 12 miller lights because i think i want the sugar mm -hmm. i was never drinking hard liquor it's just like oh of course i have a thousand calories of beer every night because that's the move yeah by the way i quit 11 years ago mm -hmm. i eat so much sugar at night mm -hmm. that does not like we've got a bag of hostess donuts yeah we got we just got girl scout cookies from her brother's friend what kind of you got in there tag along samoa's tag alongs yeah. and thin mints okay and then the new kind which are like they're supposed to be like this weird cake flavor. They're not bad. I'll, I'll let, you know, I'll, I'll bust one out when we leave. You know, let's see how it goes first. We'll see how it goes. If you do well, you get a cookie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, I give, you're, you're like Myrtle. Yeah. If you do well, I'll give I you stay a off the couch. If you stay off the couch. If you stop looking at my hand, <laughs> you get a fucking cookie. That's how it is. Um, you're living in Austin, though, right? Mm -mm. Bro, I'm living in La Junta, La Junta, Colorado. I haven't heard La Junta since I went there for my mom's boyfriend's swim meet. Well, it's between Rocky Ford and Lamar. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. I, dude, he used to... My mom's mom was dating a high schooler? <laughs> my mom was dating a, a mailman okay. who worked in Five Points. That's redundant. He was my godfather. Mailman. Yeah. What a male lady. Get out of here. <laughs> You're going to read all that gossip, you stupid <laughs> bitch. Um, <laughs> he would he would work in, in like manual in Montbello. Yeah. I hated him. He was my dad's ex-best friend. Mm-hmm. And he would come home and be like, they're fucking, they got fucking, you know, he'd be racist and sure, shit. Sure, Montello, I, I did the math. <laughs> and he goes, they have pit bulls and these geez, Rottweilers and they let them just live in their front yards. And yeah. I was like, dude, as someone that hated his mom's boyfriend, I was like, good job, black people. Yeah. I hope you're <laughs> Keep biting it up, his blacks. ass. Dude, yeah. more, get, make the dogs more dangerous. That's why he was a swim coach. So he didn't no, have to he deal with those swim guys. Coach. He was in a master swim league. What? So... It was for olds. Yeah. It was, uh, he was in the 50 and over. And you would go to La Junta to watch dude, him go, splash. We'd have to go splash around. Dude. Hey, he yeah. was fucking sick. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting a YouTube special out on March 1st. Whoa. But we have a joke. I have a joke about watching my mom's boyfriend swim and yeah. how impressive he was, like how good he was. <laughs> where you like watch it and you're like, fuck, this guy can fucking go. <laughs> but we'd have to go to like uh, Pueblo, Durango, yeah. La Junta, uh, Salida. We'd have to go to like Elizabeth. That's where we, I'm from. I know. Yeah, We'd have dude. To go to where like, was the pool in Elizabeth? Uh, high school. No, you didn't go to Elizabeth. There's no pool at Elizabeth High School. Then we went to whatever, wherever your indoor pool is. Uh, dude, there's no pool in Elizabeth. Really? You were lied to. You might have gone to Sterling. Bubba. Sterling. Sterling, yeah. We were in That's Sterling. Fine. Sure, yeah. yeah. Over there in the prison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, we'd go to places and it'd just be like, what the uh -huh. fuck? I, I always liked it when he was in like Arvada. Sure. Because you're just like oh it's right there yeah yeah but god i hated it dude eating her picture. crackers you know, homeless pimple edit it so the picture comes up yeah it is fucking wild it's awesome he could do this he could like put her in his hand and yeah. be like it's a little scoop up yeah it's gonna be Four oliver with his first girlfriend he's like, <laughs> exactly i want to feed you do you want a kiss yeah we beat grand view i have to take a shit in the bathtub because the toilet's yeah. too big look at those two yeah look, look at, at those two just out mm -hmm. having fun yeah how does he not you know what? I'd want to get launched if if I were her. I'd want to get like like a dad does with a yeah. baby, all the way to the moon. Yeah, just like <laughs> fire, like really fire me up there. Yeah. I, like I Hoppy. want you, to, yeah, I want you to granny shot me yeah. up into the air. And by the way, put some English on it. Yeah, yeah, a little backspin, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flick it a little. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm not wearing panties. Yeah. Flip me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It is got to be weird though, because the tiniest woman and then the tallest man. Yeah, his dick's taller than her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And also, it's pure fear. She's oh, like, God. I'm prey. You're a predator. Oh yeah. If it was the smallest man mm -hmm. and a giant woman, he'd be like, let me climb all over you. Oh for sure. He'd be like but a little spider monkey. She's like the baby bird that cleans the hippo's teeth. <laughs> She just she eats meals out of yeah. his gums. He's like, can you go back here behind my ear? And she's just back there. <laughs> yeah. We should all have a tiny companion. <laughs> Dude, what do you think me and Sharpie were so close? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, Sharpie, yeah. get my back. Yeah. He was your speed and you were his power. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> used to do a gag called Taking Up Space with Sam and Chris, uh, where he would like stand in a doorway and then I would stand in a doorway and uh, they'd be completely occupied. Oh, that's wow. great. So this is 
This is the world's shortest man meets the leggiest woman. It means Princess Di. I mean, yeah, dude, for real. Look <laughs> yeah. at those yams. Well, I can't because you're being perverse and not sharing. Uh, thank but you, look, Dan. <laughs> God, look at now him. who's sludge. He looks like it looks like a Mad TV. Sketch. He's not people or a Mad Magazine. <laughs> yeah, that's Mister Mustapolistic from Superman. <laughs> you say his name backward, you get a wish. <laughs> I really thought it was Isle of Doctor Moreau. Also. Give me all of that. Yeah, dude, yeah, look at that. Wood. You're, you're a big boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. A, you would take down the leggiest woman easy. Every piece. You start eating the cards after your yeah, stroke? But go through there, dude. I will, gladly. Okay. Let's see what you got. Okay. This mix is... So you could see... Well, hold on. I'm going to look for Orlando and Minnesota expansion teams. Great. Good call. By the way, Fat fat Love. Oh, God, dude. And Alex English. Mm -hmm. But you know what I'm going to do? What do you got back there? I'm going to give you my Alex English all-star card. Oh, my God. You get that just to start off with. That's so sweet. Because you are the king of Colorado. Thank you, man. And as Hear a, that, Adam? Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> and Adam, when you come on, I'll get, I'll get you a proper title. Yeah, Adam, when you come to New York, he's not available. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to open these. Yeah. I, I, man, some of these are fun. By the way, <clears throat> someone messaged me. Jeffrey Asmus opened a michael jordan all-star card and a fan dm me and said that on ebay it's worth seventy five hundred dollars what so some of these what asmus do like oh can you believe this that was pretty good it's <laughs> not bad this is not that fancy of okay card. so we're it's starting off with eddie johnson who uh was just a uh, real good for uh 12 and 7 down there with the phoenix suns oh but by the way played from i mean this guy had a career yeah Second round pick out of Illinois. And he still has a career. He opened up all his check cashing places. <laughs> Come down to Eddie's cash checking. Hey, you like your cash wet? Come on, I'm fast, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Hodges, of course. Craig Hodges. Yeah. I love getting mm -hmm. the role players from the Bulls team. That, By the way, this is in the time. This is before even the Bulls are kind of started a dynasty. Yeah. This you is, just open one up. You're like, oh, Luke Longley's. Dude, that's what the fuck? A Craig Hodges is... You know, it's going in the pile with Eddie Johnson. Christian Welp over here who brought the feathered hair to the league. Oh, my God. Dude. Yeah. Oh, my God. Tell me this guy doesn't have a hot daughter. Oh, for sure. By the He's way, not seven footer. To see her. Is he? <laughs> seven footer out of Washington. First round pick. Whoa, man. That was a simpler time. It was, dude. But yeah. seven foot, 245. I think that was the draft back in the day. They're like, all right, we'll pick you number one. But can you open this jar? And he goes, I can. Uh -huh. Okay. Go, all, right, all right, you're in. How do you like $12 million over four years? Yeah, dude. But, I mean... Dude, in the 80-89 season, this is before he was with San Antonio and he was with the Sixers, guy had 41 blocks in a season. Dude, how about, okay, my all-time favorite basketball player, Theo Ratliff. Oh. I love Theo, dude. He All was right. like the poor man's worm. Yeah. I think he probably had two points over his entire career, but averaged like 18 rebounds and three blocks a game. I want to say I have a Theo Ratliff. No, I don't have a Theo Ratliff over there. I We've opened a Theo Rat. I assume you have. You've yeah. played in the league forever. Yeah. we. My favorite, um, it, they're hack picks. Yeah. But my favorite two NBA players of all time are Chauncey Billups and Shaquille O'Neal. Sure. I mean, that's great. Also, let's talk about this. My dad is obsessed with Wilt the Stilt. Thinks he's the greatest of all time. Great Will argument Chamberlain. to be made. But does Wilt the Stilt not get bodied by Shaq in the paint? He's, he's tall and long and Shaq... By the way, Shaq loves Jokic yeah. because Jokic bangs down low. That's what Shaq was doing. So I think you're right. Because young Shaq yeah. in Orlando. I'm talking like 340 pound Shaq. That's a problem for yeah, Will. Yeah. Will can handle Orlando Shaq. Mm -hmm. Will can probably handle Miami Heat, Boston Celtics. Shaq. Sure, yeah. Laker Shaq is a massive problem for mm -hmm. Will Chamberlain. Yeah, for sure. He's going to get beat up. I also think LSU Shaq's a problem. I think <sighs> young, hungry, out the mud Shaq. What about blue chips? Ooh, my neon. God, they're too spicy. Come on, neon. Oh, you meant the movie? Yeah. I meant... <laughs> Who else you got? James Donaldson, of course. Uh, I don't want to keep saying, of course. <laughs> How of about course. that Mavericks logo from back in the day? It's pretty fucking sick. That's the, the hat that I'm going to wear after my stroke. <laughs> <laughs> That's my first hat I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. By the way, this guy, Block Central, seven foot two, 275, playing down in the paint. This guy's got 51 blocks in the 86 season. Hey, man, I'm all for a 7'2 shot blocker, but I really want a six foot nine shot blocker. Yeah. And that's Theo. That is. You know what I God. mean? 
playing swing. The 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 the, the mediocre pile is stacking up. You, you got to have some hits here coming up. I don't have any hits. I'm guessing. Come on. You well, sorry, I spoke too soon. Dennis Hobson. Come on yeah. from the New Jersey Nets when they had the worst logo I've ever seen in my life. It looks like an insurance logo. Yeah, it's like the Texans were like, "Hey, remember that shitty logo the Nets had? Yeah. We're gonna run with those yeah, colors. We're gonna do that exactly." Yeah. But the guy had seventy blocks in the '88 season. Seventy at six five. That's what I'm talking. No, about. I'm sorry. Steals blocks. He's down thirty. I lied uh, to you. The sorry, poor Dennis Hobson. Block. Well, here. I get so much stats wrong when I read these things, and people really like to tell me, and I'm aware of it. I'm hey, an idiot. I I'm, don't know if you've picked up on any of that. I'm just going to read you this guy's uh, lines, yeah. and you tell me his name and okay. position and who All he right. plays for. Okay. Uh, he was he played 49 games in the 87-88 season. He had a 702 free throw percentage, 15 blocks, because that's your thing. 70% free throw shooter? Uh-huh. That's Reggie Lewis for the Boston Celtics. <laughs> I gave you that. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> gave the name. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Was it Celtics? There's someone driving a forklift right now. It's like, he knew it. <laughs> he crashes oh, into the last case of Joel Cola. We <laughs> trying to back out quick. <laughs> what the fuck? How did he know it was Reggie Lewis? Is it from the Celtics? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I just saw the green. Yeah. I took the green. I was like, I'm going to take a could have been the Mavs back then. Right, that's what I mean. Or it could have been the expansion Timberwolves. Of course, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I hate that the Wolves are good, but I love that the Wolves are good. Yeah. You, you know what you I mean? want that for the people from the great state of minnesota yeah like two years ago courtside seats for the wolves were like 30 bucks i hope i Me hope and people, we're gonna fly up there that's sick yeah that's sick your shit pile is uh, the fastest stack i've ever seen in doing this well hey i got a turd for the bowl purvis short <laughs> that sounds made up but what a name oh, Herb name the Herb. purvis short <laughs> yeah by the way guy was a golden state warrior through and through through yeah. 78 through 87 uh-huh. first round pick fifth pick of the draft well purvis yeah he Dude. made them all nervous Purvis made him nervous. Yeah, on the court, he made him swervous. Uh, dude, what is he was a little he had sticky hands, dude. Oh, Purvis stole a lot of hymens. Yeah, 116 steals in the in the year of our Lord, 1984. Yeah, he was the Vince champ. Yeah. Uh oh, this this uh, Jerome Kersey. That's pretty good. That doesn't go in the shit pile. No. Jerome was a solid role player for a long time. Yeah, Blazers fans are pumped about a Jerome Kersey. Yeah, yeah. God, I hate the Blazers. I know. Dude, if Ian Carmel says one more thing about the fucking Blazers. Yeah. Hey, sorry you guys have to root for soccer most of the year, <laughs> but the Blazers are never going to make it, dude. Give up. Know. They got we just we just hated them because of that because uh, of the couple seven game series they put us through recently. Yeah. Uh scores and rebounds with the NBA's best, leading rebounder and fourth leading scorer, runner up to Michael Jordan for the slam dunk title in 87. No one knows that. Yeah. Do you want to know who got second place behind Jordan? Jerome Kersey. Yeah. And hey, where do you go to college, though? Everyone knows this. Come on, quick. Yes, just Longwood, stupid. Uh, Longwood? God. Longwood? Jesus. Hold on. Yeah. That was Longwood, his nickname, that- too. <laughs> <laughs> Old Kersey. Yeah. Forward. You know what I mean? I got to go. Um, <laughs> I got to get out of here. Yeah. But by the way, second round pick from Portland. Oh, he stayed with the Portland Trailblazers most of his career. Yeah, yeah. Well, Flat top looking nice mm-hmm. on the back yeah you could eat a cake off that thing Whoo! yep that goes in a good pile he's got a level oh shit never mind uh kevin gamble classic in the trash signed as a free agent <laughs> valuable backcourt contributor played two years at iowa veteran minimum oh damn dude they did the thing where they go by the way you know who he played with at iowa they did that on his own card oh who was it uh bj armstrong oh wow and roy marble really unfortunate name for a young man blowjob armstrong <laughs> what were his parents thinking <laughs> suck job thompson i'd rather be purvis yeah dude, just call <laughs> me call me bartholomew i thought this was lafonso alice when i opened it and i would have been stoked but no Wait. it's uh lasalle thompson <laughs> and hey, if you need a 4X uh, <laughs> wine colored suit, you go to LaSalle Thompson. <laughs> yeah, it is. All right. Come to LaSalle Thompson's. <laughs> yeah. Suits that don't fit no one else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you sad that Suavecito's closed? <laughs> well, LaSalle's got you dripping. Come to LaSalle's. It's probably called like Les, 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 LaSalle's Suit Emporium. LaSalle's La All Right La Suits. <laughs> <laughs> LaSalle's La Fancy Suits. <laughs> Glenn Rivers. Never did much for me. I mean, you know who that is. No. You don't know who that is. No. Glenn. It's Doc Rivers. That's Doc? That's the coach 
Doc Rivers. Oh my God! Well, I didn't. This is before he went to med school. <laughs> That's I, this I is apologize. Where he had his bachelor's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is before he did his residency. Yeah, this was MFA Rivers right here when he wanted to be a poet. Still, this is BA Rivers. <laughs> look at him. He has an age today. Hey, look at that, dude. Doc Rivers, Glenn Rivers. Yeah, this goes in the good pile just because of the coach he becomes. Well, and this one is just for the Pistons. It's just the Pistons. <laughs> champions, 1989 yeah. World Champions. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. Back of the card to get the whole team, dude. And they were so mean. And hey, to sell. Celebrate that. One of the great white hopes of the league. Lambeer. I mean, Lambeer. Nasty man. Nasty man. Fucked up guy. Mean, mean son of a bitch. You know he whispered mean, slurs under his breath. Meaner than a honey badger. Yeah. I mean, really made, he made more people angry in the NBA uh -huh. than any commissioner ever has. Oh, yeah, desegregation. Yeah. <laughs> it made people less happy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at those shorts, too. Oh, yeah. Which, do you think it's taped up or is he just micro peened? I think it's, I think it's the nerves. Okay. Well, hey, it's the nerves. I know when I'm on the court. Small. Yeah, I just evaporate. Yeah, dude. Do you think I got a carrying big dong on the court? No way. It's like a memory of a photograph of a penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to tuck it in. Donnie Nels. Coach Don Nelson. Mm -hmm. Went on to the Mavs, By the way, right? For the, I have his mm -hmm. Mavericks card. That's huge. Uh, but Don Nelson on the Warriors. He's a classic Warriors yeah. coach. Mm -hmm. in Didn't fact, get choked out, though. No, that was P.J. Carlissimo. Yeah. I, when I was young... He looks like a magician. P.J. Yeah. had a tough look. I was a Warriors fan until they traded Tim Hardaway, and mm -hmm. that's when I chose the Nuggets because I didn't have a Denver team. Why couldn't you just, like... Be into Denver sports. Because I moved to Denver when I was five or six. From so where? I, Muncie, Indiana? No, I, I wish. Where? I wish I was a real Munson. <laughs> uh, no, from Connecticut. Oh. And my family was all from the Bay Area. So ah, it was... You were, you were a stranger in a strange land. Stranger uh, twice over. Yeah. So, you were feeling the plate for salsa. Yeah. I was yeah. like, I am food. <laughs> I am food. And hey, thank God we got a Reggie Theus. Jesus. Yeah. I, I'm going to tell you, I'm not going to lie, Sam. This is the worst pack we've seen it so far. It didn't feel good. It didn't. Yeah. But think about it now, because you can take I got home. Purvis. I get Well, you got the Alex Alex English one, mm -hmm. but you get to take home a sweet Don Nelson. Yeah. You know, you got an awesome Bill Lambeer. Lambeer's not bad. Lambeer's not bad. That'll buy you a beer. Glenn, Don that. Rivers. It's fun. Jerome Kersey, role player. Nothing wrong with that. Championship. Yeah. I mean, this is a whole squad. Might as well have the ring. You got them all. <laughs> yeah, might as well. I'm gonna give that to my father-in-law out there in Detroit. Look at this, Alex English. Yeah, dude. All star. I mean, the man, dude. That is it. Yep. You're the man. Um, go check out his brand new special out now on YouTube. That's right on Matt and Shane's page, the Toad's Morale. The Toad's Morale. Also, on I'm that. putting out a travel show on my YouTube. Go sign up for his YouTube. Yeah, just find my YouTube. That'd what is it at Sam Talent? Yeah. T A L L E N T. Two L's for Two double L's. the pleasure. <laughs> and then check out Running the Light, mm -hmm. which I think is up here somewhere. It's if it's not, I'm going to be hurt, honestly. No, it is. This it's fake bookshelf. Yeah. If I pull this Hogan, it just spins around. There you go. It's an arcade. Oh, no, it's Katie and Lingerie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on a metal slug is machine. It time? I go, get out of here. It's yeah. sludge time. Sludge time's later. <laughs> That's why I said sludge. Um, Listen to Chubby Behemoth, my podcast. Chubby Behemoth yep. is unbelievable. Sam is truly one of the funniest people in the world. Hey, and that's nice of you to say because yeah. you might be the funniest guy. Just and I'm not it. blowing smoke. We're going to cut it off the cameras. It pisses me off how good you are. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you rule. You fucking rule. And Thanks, I was man. really happy that you were coming to New York and you got to come up into the Sky Palace. Yeah, me too. And do uh,